Hopefully by now, you are all listening on ocpradio12345.com, just so that you know it's working.
Because <laughs> I didn't want to, Roger. Yeah, Sanya, it is entirely a matter of partnership agreement as to whether you bid the suit below or the suit itself. Um, given that it's actually quite rare that we have a beta sequence after one no trump, two diamonds, and a super except showing a worthless doubleton, it's, it's really quite rare. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter. The reason we, 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 I recommend that you bid the suit below is simply for consistency with the rest of the system. Um, it doesn't really affect much because it's, uh, it's not at all frequent that you actually use it as beta. So if you want to bid the suit below, that's fine. If you want to bid the suit itself, that's also fine. It'll be one hand in a thousand where it actually makes a difference. So if the sequence starts, one no trump, two diamonds, open a bids, two hearts, and now respond a bids, anything other than two spades, then it, the, the transfer to hearts is confirmed. You know, responder will have five card hearts. And the rebid shows exactly what kind of hand with five hearts responder has. A new suit is game forcing two no trumps or three hearts is just invitational four hearts is slam invitational mildly and three no trumps is just pass or correct it's only the one no trump two diamonds two hearts two spades sequence that kicks in the alternative invitational plus hand So nothing radically different apart from the three spade rebid. Responder has to jump in spades if he wants to show a game forcing major two suitor with longer hearts.
So this is the difference here. If responder rebids two spades over two hearts, it scraps the heart transfer. Now they don't any longer have five card hearts. They might have a singleton heart for all you know. Two spades is now simply asking opener to bid two no trumps with a minimum and to start bidding their suits upwards at the three level if they're better than minimum. So this is a little bit like stamen except that it includes um, minor suits potentially. But at the same time responder is finding out whether opener is minimum or better than minimum. If opener is minimum and responder only has an invitational hand then the chances are that we'll play in two no trumps. Right, let's give you an example of that. So here, East has quite a nice 11 count. So unless, unless Opener has an absolute rock bottom and minimum of 13, they want to be in a game of some sort. So at the moment, West, opener, assumes that partner has hearts and they bid accordingly. So they don't have a hand for a super except, so they just bid two hearts. So the two spade bid cancels out the transfer to hearts and simply asks partner to bid two no trumps, asks West to bid two no trumps with an absolute minimum and to start bidding suits upwards at the three level if they're better than minimum. So here West has a 14 count so they're better than minimum so they bid three diamonds And now East doesn't have any other suits that he wants to bid. He's happy just to play in three no trumps. Oops, sorry. So at this point, West might have a four card major, but 
East bidding three no trumps definitely doesn't have a four card major. Otherwise, they'd bid it instead of three no trumps. And now West would support the major if they had a four card holding or bid three no trumps if they didn't. Or bid the other major. I'll come to that in a minute, Terry. Uh, there's a whole part of this that's dealing with super accepts. Um, so I won't anticipate that if you don't mind. Okay, another example here. Same 11 count from south. So again, unless opener is, in, is a bare minimum of 13, they want to be in three no trumps. Now, West's got nice hearts, but they're absolutely minimum, so not right for a super accept. So they just bid two hearts. So this time over one no trump, two dams, two hearts, two spades. North is absolutely minimum, so he just bids two no trumps. Now, if South happened to have a much stronger hand and was using this as a sort of a low-level slam investigation, now they could carry on bidding over two no trumps because we've ended up with opener bidding two no trumps rather than responder bidding two no trumps, which is normally the case in the stay-manic sequences. Who's got 15? Ellie, 7 plus 6 equals 13. Hang on. <laughs> so South could bid on now if he had a much stronger hand. As it is, he just passes two no trumps, knowing that it's very unlikely that they're going to have a game here. In fact, hang on. So 13 is minimum, 14 is. So yes, in this context, 14 or 15 counts as better than minimum, and 13 is not. So this sequence is a strong invitation to three no trumps, at least. Whereas the one that uses stamen is only a mild invitation, and now only wants 
to be in game if opener is maximum, i.e. a 15 count if it's a 13 to 15 one no trump, or a 12 count if it's a 10 to 12, or 11 to 12. Right, let's have an, one last example here. So here, West has a very much stronger hand. They've got a nice 16 count. So if open is maximum, they're potentially, or even better than minimum, they're potentially looking at slam territory. So as normal, the two diamonds is two-way. East has a minimum hand here, so despite having nice heart support, they're not going to super accept. So now West knows that East has a fairly mediocre 13 count. So forget game, but he still wants... Sorry, forget slam, but he still wants to be in game, obviously. So now West just carries on bidding. And this shows a hand that might have been interested in slam if opener had been better than minimum. But as it is, is still strong enough to insist on playing in game. So now West starts bidding four card suits upwards. So hopefully that's shown three different sides to the way that we can use the two-way two diamonds when Responder doesn't have a five-card heart suit. Sanya, for your question, yeah, the, the general rule is that opener does not go past three no trumps under any circumstances, unless we get a major suit fit. We don't start going past three no trumps on the basis of a minor suit fit. Because opener has limited their hand and it may well be that um, even if you do have a four card fit in a minor that actually three no trumps is where you want to play the hand so we allow responder to go past three no trumps in the absence of a major suit fit but we don't allow opener to go past Because we know a lot more about opener's hand than we do about responder's hand. We don't know anything about responder's hand. So, so even if even if West, sorry, even if East had four card diamonds here, he wouldn't bid four diamonds over three diamonds. He would just carry on bidding his hand up towards three no trumps. 
So it might go three diamonds, three hearts, three spades, three no trumps. Now if, if, uh, um, if West really doesn't like the idea of playing in three no trumps, they can carry on. No, suits, Terry. Definitely suits. Absolutely it does, yes. Yeah, this is definitely... It's like a, it's like a barren sequence, this, isn't it? Um, for those of you who, uh, who aren't familiar with barren, um, it used to be quite popular to play Baron over two no trump openings. Um, certainly in this country, in the UK, uh, quite a lot of people played Baron rather than Stamen, um, where two no trumps, three clubs, simply asks for four card suits upwards towards three no trumps. Um, so, I mean, if it went two no trumps, three clubs, three no trumps, you knew that opener had at least four card clubs and no other four card suit. Um, but uh, Baron seems to have slightly fallen out of favour these days. Um, you don't see many people playing it, but this is one place where it's effectively a Baron sequence. Um, over two spades, the two spade rebid by Respondo. Um, so over two spades, we treat that as barren if opener is better than minimum. And if it goes one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, two spades, two no trumps, West treats it as barren if they're game going and we're sort of fishing for a slam. So they would start bidding four card suits upwards towards three no trumps. Okay, let's press on. So if you give if you give the West hand maybe one or two more points here, in the bad old days you might bid a quantitative four no trumps after maybe after trying Stamen first. Um, but using the two way two diamond you can do half your slam investigation, certainly in terms of openers range at the two level, which is much safer. So the quantitative four no trump is, is out the window now. We, we never use it in my system. It has absolutely no place, um, not immediately over a one no trump opening. You see, the problem is, in the old days, without the two-way two diamond, the only way that Responder could find out if opener was minimum or maximum was by either a two-no trump bid, which wasn't forcing, or a four-no trump bid, which was, you know, you're now having to get ten tricks, whereas if, if opener is rock bottom minimum, you might struggle to make 10 tricks, let alone more. The nice thing about the two-way two diamonds is that you just don't need a quantitative 4 no trump response, ever, because you can do it at the two level and still play in three no trumps if opener is minimum or in a fit somewhere.
The only slight disadvantage to the two-way two-diamond, and it's one we recognised even 40 years ago when I came up with this, is that if you're using stamen and you do have a four-card major suit fit, you can usually end up playing it at the three level. With the two-way two-diamond, if Responder has an invitational hand only, and it goes two diamonds, two hearts, two spades, two no trumps, because opener is minimum, now you may still actually have a four-card major fit, but you haven't found it. So you're going to end up playing in two no trumps rather than three of the major. That's the only slight downside. Um, nothing much we've ever been able to think of around that because uh, there just isn't the space. But we've always recognised that as a, a slight downside to the two-way two-diamond. But it gains in so many other ways that it's never really troubled me over much. Because over Stamen, if we end up making an invitation, we only want to be in game if opener is maximum. That's whether we find a fit or not. So we're effectively showing a 10 count if we invite via Stamen. If it's a 13 to 15, no, no trump. If it's a 10 to 12, no trump, then obviously it's a 13 count, not a 10 count. Oops. So that's an important point there. Over one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, two spades. The only time that opener goes straight to three no trumps is if they're maximum, or better than minimum rather, with three three four three or three 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 four shape with a five card minor. They don't bid an immediate three no trumps if they have a five card minor and five three three two shape because we can very often. Uh, responder can very often determine that 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 it must be that it's a five card minor. Um, if it goes, for example, one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, two spades, three diamonds, for the sake of example, by opener. So he ca hasn't got four card clubs because he's bid diamonds straight away. Now, Responder bids three hearts, say, and now Opener bids three no trumps. So they haven't got four card hearts, they haven't got four card spades, otherwise they'd have bid it at three spades. So now they must have a five card diamond suit. And that can be very useful if Responder also has four card diamonds to know there's a nine card diamond fit, fit which may be safer than playing in three no trumps especially if they were slam invitational in the first place
Um, I don't think initially, no. I think uh, if you if you if it goes one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, two spades, three diamonds, for example, that's just a diamond suit initially. But if it now goes three hearts, three no trumps by opener. Um, then now I think opener should be alerting the three no trumps as showing five card diamonds, no other four card suit. Because that, in, that is information that's available to partner that should also be available to ops to be ethical. Okay, Sanya? So initially, the three diamond bid doesn't need to be alerted. But if, it, if it's clear, if, but I mean, bear in mind, if it, goes, if it goes one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, two spades, three diamonds from opener, three spades by responder, three no trumps. Now the three no trump bid doesn't have to be alerted. Because opener might have five card diamonds they might have four card diamonds and four card hearts but responder doesn't have the information that opener has a five card diamond suit right so it, it you have to analyze actually what it's showing um, in any in any particular sequence and what, what opener might have or responder might have. Okay. So that's an important point. Um, responder doesn't have to be slam invitational. You can use these two-way, two-diamond sequences if you are strong enough to be game-going, but you've got a significant shortage somewhere that you're worried about, especially one in a major. And you might be looking for potentially game in a minor rather than three no trumps if you can find a fit there. It doesn't have to be a hand that's slam invitational. It might just be wanting to find a better game than three no trumps unless it's clear that opener's plugging the gaps in responder's hand. So the only bid that kicks in this invitational sequence, the only rebid is one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, two spades. If responder rebids with anything else, then it confirms the transfer to hearts. So you don't really lose anything with the two-way two-diamond. You, you do end up making, if you've got this game-forcing two-suitor with longer hearts um, and shorter, you know, four-card spades, then 
you lose one round of bidding. But in practice, the number of times that's going to really make a significant difference is quite small. Oops, I keep on sending the same thing. Roger, I need to have a chat with you afterwards. It stopped giving me the tool tip uh, when I hover over the, uh, the buttons in chat assistant. I could do with discussing that with you afterwards. Okay, moving swiftly on. So the worthless doubleton method is definitely a safety valve primarily uh, in the one no trump two diamond sequences. Over one no trump two hearts, we know responders got five card spades. So we, we super accept by cubiting our cheapest ace. But over one no trump two diamonds, we don't know that partner has five card hearts. Um, so it's safer to use the worthless doubleton method of super accepting. So hopefully you can see the idea here behind the worthless doubleton method being a safety valve. If, by the way, you were playing, you agreed to bid the suit below your worthless doubleton, then over one no trump, two diamonds, opener would bid three diamonds to show a, a worthless doubleton in spades i.e. the suit below ignoring trumps. And thereafter the bidding would go on just the same.
So whether you bid the Doubleton suit or you bid the suit below, it's entirely up to you and your partner. Um, the system says that we bid the suit below, but if you want to play different, that's fine. And it doesn't impact on the rest of the system, and it's very, very rare that it makes any significant difference whether you bid the suit or whether you bid the suit below. Suit below is mainly for uh, consistency with the rest of the system. Because if we're showing a shortage, we always bid the suit below. Okay, I've just uh, changed the east hand slightly in this. So now they've got quite a nice 15 count. No, um, Barry, that's not correct. Um, Barry, if you're listening, it's, it's always the case, and I mean always the case, that to super accept, you need to have, firstly, maximum range, secondly, good four-card heart su support for the suit, if it's a major, and decent controls. If you've got a really quacky hand, I don't care how maximum you are, uh, you don't super accept. You need to have plenty of, of aces and kings rather than queens and jacks. So even the 3433 shape super accepts have decent controls and are max. Okay? So back to this hand which was the same as the last one, but I've just beast up the uh, east hand a little bit. So if East decided they wanted to super accept over two diamonds, they would bid three hearts here because they are 3-4-3-3 three, three, three shape. Just bear with me a second.
So the three spade bid might have been just looking for three no trumps without four card heart support. But when West bids four clubs, now this is definitely a Q bid agreeing hearts. There's no other there's no other sense for this sequence. If uh, if West just had an invitational hand and doesn't have four card hearts, they might bid three spades in case for some reason Opener decided that four spades was going to be better than three no trumps. But in practice it's more likely to be a cubid agreeing hearts and four clubs is definitely a cubid agreeing hearts. Yes, Terry, I, I mean, four diamonds is the most helpful response that East, that East can make. Well, there's nobody particularly in charge here. It's a Q-bidding sequence. Um, clearly, West has a slam-going hand with heart support. That's obvious from the three spade and the four club bid. So four diamonds is the best response that East can make because we're not missing out any suits here. Therefore, four hearts, four hearts can't be, oh, we'll just play in four hearts, because East can't possibly be showing a, a better hand than what he's, had, what he's shown so far. So four hearts is just rolling, is saying, I've shown my spade control, I've shown my club control, there's nothing else I can show immediately over four diamonds. So... I'm interested in whether you, for example, got the King of Spades. So it's effectively inviting East. Yes. And don't forget, East has super accepted over two diamonds. So by definition, they have a hand with a reasonable number of controls. So the chances are that they do have something else to show. It might be the Ace of Clubs, it might be the King of Spades. But either way, it's, it's a rolling bid because clearly we're not missing out any suits here. We've Q-bid everything there is to Q-bid over the three heart bid. West is Q-bid Spades and Clubs. East as cubid diamonds. So we haven't missed out anything here. It's, it's, that's essentially the case. If um, in a different sequence, if East had missed out a suit and now West bids four hearts, now that may well be a sign-off rather than rolling, because it may well be that that's the crucial suit, especially if 
if Responder also doesn't have control of that suit. If Opener's missed it out and effectively denied having a control there, now a bit of four of the agreed major may well, in fact, almost certainly is a sign-off. Does that make sense to you? Uh, one of these days I'm going to do a whole lesson on qubits because uh, a lot of people miss out the nuances behind these qubiting sequences and there's a lot that you can learn about partner's hand on the way to bidding or not bidding uh, a slam that's sometimes missed. Terry, just, just going back to that last hand, how can it, the thing is, how can it not be forcing in the sense that clearly three spades and then four clubs is now agreeing hearts and clearly they're looking for a slam. East has cubed four diamonds, they haven't denied anything else, so they're cooperating with the cubid sequence, so they're effectively saying, yeah, maybe slams here. So you haven't missed out any suits. So four hearts can't be a sign-off because West, West has initiated the cubiting sequence and East is cooperating and we've cubed everything there is in sight so far. So four hearts can't be a sign-off. It, it must be rolling. And sometimes these rolling bids are actually Forno trumped is often used as rolling, uh, particularly uh, by West, you mean? Yes, effectively. If West had the, the, the king of spades as well as the ace, then yes, they could bid four spades instead of bidding four hearts. So effectively... The four heart bid is saying, yes, I, I would really like you to have the king of spades here. So if, if East didn't have the king of spades, supposing they'd super accepted with a, a really sub-minimum quacky hand. Uh, difficult to construct such a hand actually for East, but... Um, that's the only time when actually they might say, well, I've nothing else to show here. And then they might pass four spades. Sorry, four hearts. On the basis that if West can't show the king of spades and East hasn't got it and hasn't got anything else to show like a club control. But if... if East had the ace of clubs rather than the king of spades, then I would be bidding five clubs. Okay. Like I said, one of these days I'm going to do a whole session on Q bidding. Because um, I'm sure a lot of people would find it fairly valuable. Go on, Sanya. Right, so now, over the four heart bid, yes, they bid five clubs, which would show, which would show I haven't got the king of spades or a spade control, but I have got a club control. Because they haven't had a chance to show a club control yet. And it may well be that the ace of clubs is actually enough. Yes. Okay.
So in the hand we had here, if West doesn't have four card hearts, East has shown a 3-4-3-3 three, three, three shape hand. So they haven't shown a worthless doubleton. Which is why the three spade bid pretty much has to be a Q bid agreeing heart. Because there's no, there's no way that East can have four card spades. So it can't be an attempt to find a four card spade fit, an eight card spade fit. Because East has promised three card spades. So three spades pretty much has to be a cubid for hearts. Um, if, however, East had shown a worthless doubleton somewhere, now you might start looking for four three fits somewhere else, rather than three no trumps. If if opener's worthless doubleton hits a hand where responder has decent values they're not going to be bothered and since opener is maximum um, and they know where uh, responder knows where opener's four card suit is so unless there's a clear probable weakness somewhere um, if responder has the invitational kind of hand but not four card hearts then the chances are they're just going to bid three no trumps over three hearts or the bid that shows a worthless doubleton or over two no trumps. It's when they show a worthless doubleton and it's clear that there is a marked weakness in the same suit in both hands that you're going to start fiddling around looking for maybe a 4-3 fit somewhere else. I showed, I put up a hand before where you both had a doubleton in spades and you, you could end up playing in a 4-3 fit in hearts because opener has shown four card, a decent four card heart suit with the bid that shows a worthless doubleton so if responder has three card hearts and clearly three no trumps is unplayable the next cheapest place to play is going to be four hearts no guarantees it's the right place of course but uh, um, it's the best looking cheaper to play in four hearts than five of a minor even if you've got a better fit there So, broadly speaking, if, if it goes one no trump, two diamonds, and opener super accepts, if responder doesn't have four card hearts, or five card hearts, the only time normally that you would not end up playing in three no trumps is if opener shows a worthless doubleton, and responder has a matching weakness in the same suit and now you would start bidding something else to try and establish the best fit to play in Like I said, Sonia, that's the time when you might well... Right, now you'd start looking for a minor suit contract, wouldn't you? Or maybe a 4-3 spade contract.
like I said, if if opener super accepts showing a worthless doubleton, if the doubleton isn't in spades, there's now a decent chance that they have four card spades as well as four card hearts. They'll certainly have three card spades if they've got a worthless doubleton somewhere else in a minor. So if Responder has four card spades but not four card hearts, then a 4-3 fit at game level in spades is an obvious possibility. Playing in three no trumps with Queen XX opposite a small doubleton um, is dodgy, to say the least. So yes, I mean, I would count that as a matching weakness. Queen Jack X, now I would go for it. I wouldn't be too worried. So whether you use stamen and whether you use the two-way two diamond um, changes depending on your exact point count um, and your shape. You need to think of, uh, it's pretty much outlined there, but you need to think in terms of um, where you think you're going to end up potentially and whether you need to explore more than the extent to which stamen allows you to do if you definitely want to be in game but definitely no further and you don't have any marked weakness somewhere then the chances are that stamen is your your method Similarly, if you've got a mild invitation to three no trumps, stamen is the method. If you've got a strong invitation to three no trumps, or a slam going hand, or even a game going hand where we have a significant shortage somewhere that we're worried about, now the two way two diamond tends to be what we use because it's that much more flexible and we can end up getting that much more information.
Thank you, David. Thank you, Terry. Two more, please. Come on, you lot. Don't be shy. So don't forget, guys, it's a variable no trump here. I don't guarantee that all of these hands are going to be ones where we use the two-way two diamond. You've got to make the judgment as to what's the right method. Okay. Lead and claim 10, please, Sonia. Okay. Okay, any, anybody got any comments on this bidding sequence? Okay, well I've got a comment on this bidding sequence. One no trump, 10 to 12. Two club stamen is the right Exactly, John. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. The fact is, South only wants to be in four spades if North is maximum here. If North's got a grotty ten count, does South really think they're going to be able to make four spades? The answer is no. So, over one no trump, two clubs, two spades, South should invite with three spades, asking North to bid four only if they've got a bursting 12 count and not less. I mean, you know, all the textbooks that I used to read on standard natural bidding is that you if you want to be in a major suit game because you're trying to make 10 tricks you pretty much want to have 26 points ish so even 25 is you know pushing and that's okay you know we we base our our bidding on 25 to 26 for major suit games certainly in precision but uh you don't want to you want to you don't want to be in four spades if you've got a combined 23 count and you're both balanced that's uh, very unlikely to be a winning um, a winning policy okay on to the next um no, John, because Stamen, Stamen <laughs> I, 
I, no, I don't want to use the two-way, two-diamond there, John, because it wouldn't be the right method to use, because you would end up, you would potentially end up getting to game even if North had a, you know, a mediocre 13 count. Sorry, a mediocre 11 count. So Stamen was the right method, but Stamen and then an invitation. <laughs> Your lead, Barry. Right. Almost inevitable spade lead here. So how could we have avoided playing in three no trumps? Um, just claim eight tricks, Terry. Terry, just claim eight tricks because they're going to take the first. Uh, they're going to take the first five. Okay, so one no trump, 10 to 12, and in practice, East has quite a nice 12 count. West has a nice 15, so they definitely want to be in game, but they need to be a little bit worried about spades, or they, they're potentially worried about spades. So how do we avoid playing in three no trumps? The answer is the two-way two diamonds, so West bids two diamonds, which is initially a transfer to hearts. West is going to super accept. Let's assume we're playing bidding the suit rather than the suit below for now. So West bids two spades, which is a super accept for hearts. Yeah, sure. Same hand, Terry. Just open one no trump again. So two way two diamond now. Now two spades from east. So that pinpoints immediately the spade weakness. If if for example East bid three clubs rather than three, th two spades to show a weak doubleton in, cl in clubs West is not remotely concerned about that so now they just bid three no trumps but when East bids two spades it's clearly it's clear that three no trumps is totally unplayable so where else might we play and again, the cheapest, the cheapest, I would even bid three hearts. I would bid four hearts, David. You, you don't want to give, you don't want to give East the option of wimping out. So, just, just bid four hearts. You're not, you know that three no trumps isn't the spot. And, and fishing around for a five of a minor game, which might be there. Indeed, five clubs is probably going to make here, if four hearts is going to make. But four hearts is, is one less trick, so that's one extra. Um, abs absolutely right, Barry. So note that this, this is indistinguishable from a sequence where West does have four card hearts. If West had an invitational hand with four card hearts, 
you would bid this hand exactly the same way. And it's only once once opener sees all 52 cards that they'll realise why it went to four hearts. If you're worried about playing Moisian Fitz, um, then uh, you need to you need to get over that. No, only West knows really what's happening here. At this stage, Sanya, only West knows. Um, like I said, East will be expecting West to have four card hearts here. But the time when... Yeah. And note that four hearts is a lot safer than five clubs here. In five clubs, you need to locate the Diamond Queen. Well, you wouldn't get the Super Accept, Phil. Is that Phil? Yes. If you're bidding the suit, Terry, rather than the suit below. If you wanted to show the suit below your doubleton, if that's what you'd agreed with partner, then East would be bidding three diamonds over two diamonds to show a worthless doubleton in spades. But if you're bidding the suit, then two spades and then four hearts from West has been the most likely place to make game. And note that you can't, you can't afford not to be in game here with a nice 15 count opposite 11 or 12. You can't afford not to be in game. But if you're in five clubs, you've got to find the Queen of Diamonds. Yes. But like I said, like I said whether, you, whether you bid the suit below or bid the suit, honestly, doesn't really matter. We tend to recommend that you bid the suit below if you're playing precision, if you're playing my super precision system, simply for consistency with the rest of the system. There's honestly not much practical advantage. Right, so here, if you're, right, so if you're, if you're, If it goes one no trump two diamonds Right, Phil, hang on a second. Phil, it is on. Um, okay, so if you if you're bidding this, Right, so after one no trump, two diamonds, if opener wants to super accept to show a worthless doubleton and you're bidding the suit below, now two spades would show a club doubleton, three clubs would show a diamond doubleton and three diamonds shows a spade doubleton.
Yes, that's quite right, John. You can't, you can't use two no trumps um, because that shows a super accept hand that's 4432 but with no worthless doubleton. In other words, your doubleton is high X rather than XX. And similarly, jumping, jumping to three hearts. No. Over, the, over one no trump two diamonds, 2N shows 4432 shape with four card hearts, but your, your doubleton... Yes, three hearts. No, three hearts is a super except showing 4333 three, three, three shape with four card hearts. And two no trumps is a super except showing 4432 four, but without a worthless doubleton. In other words, you've got at least one honour in this doubleton. If you want to agree with partner that actually you're showing a stop in your doubleton, that's possibly safer. In other words, qu Queen X does not count as a, an unworthless doubleton. It's marginal. You might be okay if partner's got Jack XX in the suit or better. Oh yeah, definitely John. <laughs> for the last 40 years. <laughs> um, okay, so everybody okay with, with which suits uh, show the suit above if you're bidding the suit below? So two spades shows a club doubleton, three clubs shows a diamond doubleton, and three diamonds shows a spade doubleton after over one no trump, two diamonds. Everybody okay on super accepts? I don't want to spend too long on this. Yes, exactly, Terry. Absolutely right. That's absolutely right, Sanya. Now, unfortunately, there's a good chance you're actually going to make... You, you've got chances of making nine tricks here. Um, the opening lead here is set up three tricks in clubs. Two tricks in diamonds, a couple of tricks in spades, and three tricks in hearts potentially. But unless you're Mextroth and Rodwell, you normally want 25 to be in three no trumps. Especially the way some of you play the hand. Ho ho. Um, So here, the two no trumps only wants to be in game if South has a 12 count. Yeah. So very good. That was perfect. 
And the next. If somebody else wants to sit, by the way, please let me know. And we'll fit you in somewhere. Terry, this is you've now shown about a six card heart suit. This is invitational in hearts, regardless of what partner's heart holding is. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay, so now we want to know whether West is minimum or maximum, or rather minimum or better than minimum. So now West, West is better than minimum. Might still have four card hearts. Just not in a position to super accept. Right, now the 3 no trump bid here, David, should be alerted as showing five card diamonds. Because this is one of the sequences where where East can tell that West must have a five card diamond suit because they haven't bid three clubs and they clearly haven't got a four card major but they didn't bid three no trumps immediately over two spades no contains five diamonds that's the point if you had four three 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 David with four card diamonds, you bid three no trumps over two spades. Pretty much, unless you want to use the information to steer you to the right contract. No, you're, you're in the right place, David. It's only the alert that I'm disagreeing with. The alert of three no trumps. It's, it's definitely promising five card diamonds. Hmm. You don't have to rebid. Just click on the alert on the bid and change the alert. All right, never mind. Don't matter. Um, yeah, probably once you once it's been once you've led, it's probably too late to change the alert. I agree. Okay, just claim nine tricks. Aha. So, all roads lead to three no trumps here. Um, but this is one of the sequence where East can actually tell that West has got five card diamonds, and that's why the three no trump bid 
ought to be alerted. If East had ended up bidding three spades rather than three hearts, the same doesn't follow because now West might have four card hearts and four card diamonds and still be bidding three no trumps. But when they miss out clubs and clearly haven't got a four card major, they must have a five card diamond suit, otherwise they'd be bidding three no trumps immediately over two spades. Yeah, but you might avoid a diamond lead, which is very helpful. But uh, clearly the defenders were confused here. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, please get... Yeah, there's no special sequences, Sanya. If we get doubles of particular bids or... Um, interference here. You just have to wing it, pretty much. If Does anybody else want to sit and play a few hands? Just let me know if you do, please. So a 13 to 15 one no trump from north. Very good. Lead and claim eight, please. Okay, so here, South has a quite nice ten count, has to be said. Um, but again, it's a ten count. So they only really want to be in three no trumps if North has got a 15 count. So Stamen is the weapon of choice. So two clubs, two hearts. If South had four card spades, they'd bid two spades over two hearts rather than two no trumps. And now this is still an invitational plus hand with four card spades and no four card hearts in the south hand and now north would bid two no trumps three spades or three no trumps depending on or even four spades depending on their range and their spades but as it is over two no trumps they just pass with a 13 count Yes, it has to be, Sanya. Um, two spades effectively has to be forcing here, even if it's only invitational. In other words, opener, if he wouldn't accept an invitation, has to confirm with three spades that they wouldn't, because obviously it's possible that responder is actually stronger than invitational.
but bear in mind um, that if responder if responder has four cards in the other major but a, uh, a game going hand they can just bid three no trumps over whatever opener bids so because one no trump two clubs two diamonds whatever if north has one major or both majors if responder has one major or both majors they can just bid three no trumps if it goes one no trump two clubs two hearts or one no trump two clubs two spades and responder has the other major they can just bid three no trumps again because now they must have four of the other major otherwise there'd be no sense in them there'd be no sense in them using stamen just hang on a minute So, Roger, um, I'll try and be there Thursday. Have you set a time for it? Roger? Okay. Uh, I'll put it up on the website. And... Uh, Anybody want to sit instead of Sanya? Sanya, just stand if you want to uh, stop and somebody else will sit. Somebody else sit north, please. Okay, and West. Well done, Sanya. Well done. Uh... Yes. Somebody for West, please. Well done, David. Thank you. Okay. If anybody else wants to sit and play a few hands, uh, Barry and Terry won't mind. Just uh, jump in. Somebody for East, please. Phil, jump in. Joe. Oh, David prefers East. All right, Phil, no problem. Okay, let's try this one. Good man.
David, you need to agree whether you're bidding the suit below or the suit. Okay, I mean, just so that you know, this is this is suit below, so it's showing a worthless doubleton in clubs, but super accepting hearts. So, click. Um, David, you can't assume he's got hearts here. I mean, in fact, he definitely hasn't got hearts here, otherwise, he'd bid four hearts. think here well there's a better bid than three no trumps I mean over two spades I would bid three spades just because East has four card hearts doesn't mean that they don't have four card spades so three spades over two spades is saying I haven't got four card hearts, but I have got four card spades. And I'm not bothered about, I'm not necessarily bothered about playing in three no trumps. Now, East can bid three no trumps if they haven't got four card spades. And now you decide whether to let that stand or to move, depending on your club holding. So one no trump, two diamonds, two spades, three spades, four spades is the right sequence here. And don't forget the three, the three spade. The, well, I have to say the way the clubs are. Um, if South decides to lead the nine of clubs at trick one, uh, West's second club trick is going to vanish into the mist. And because South have got the ace of diamonds, exactly, quite right, Barry. So three spades isn't saying I really don't want to play in three no trumps. But three no trumps is not totally straightforward here. I can see eight tricks. But that's all I can see from here. Any questions, anybody? So four spades is definitely safer. <laughs> yes, very good, Barry. <laughs> so yeah, four, four spades is definitely the place to play rather than three no trumps. But if if East didn't have four card spades, then you might end up playing in three no trumps because East would bid three no trumps over three spades if it went one no trump two diamonds, two spades, three spades. East would bid three spades if they uh, if they didn't have four card spades. But they must have at least three card spades here, bear in mind. If they've got a worthless doubleton in clubs, they must have at least three spades. 
So they might even bid four spades with only three card spade support on the basis that four spades is probably going to be safer than th three no trumps. Because West must have four card spades to bid three spades. No, it can't. No, absolutely it can't. You would need to, if it goes one no trump, two spades, super ex two diamonds, two spades, super except of hearts, three spades, the three spade bid is forcing. So you can't, you can't really start advanced Q bidding. You need to actually specifically agree spades. You could do it with hearts, but you can't afford to do it with spades. But over two spades, three spades is definitely forcing. East can't support it because West must have at least an invitational hand if they haven't got five hearts. Must have at least a strong invitation to three no trumps. And if East has effectively accepted the invitation by super accepting in hearts, you can't pass three spades. But you need to specifically agree a suit if it's a suit other than hearts. So three spades might be an advanced cubid for hearts. But it doesn't have to be, no. It's normally potentially going to be a suit. The, the sequence we saw before was where Opener had super accepted with three hearts, where they must be 3-4-3-3. Three, three, three. Now, three spades pretty much has to be an advanced cubid for hearts, because there's no obvious weakness anywhere, and it pretty much has to be that hearts are agreed here. But this is not the same, because West doesn't have to have four card hearts. Somebody to sit east, please. We'll play another couple if we have the time. All right, David, no problem. Somebody else wants to sit east, please? Anybody? All right, time is money. Listen, you guys are just going to have to get over it, okay? 
teaching is stressful. <laughs> Roger, I'm going to have to stop doing this voice support. The smoking monitors are out. Okay, Ellie, can I just say something here? In this sequence, West bid three clubs doesn't appear to have four card diamonds. Although you, you can't be certain of that. But certainly they haven't got a major. So there's a good chance here that they've got five card clubs. So your best bet is to specifically agree clubs with four clubs rather than bidding four spades. So bid four clubs over three no trumps. The whole sequence here is game forcing. So four clubs is forcing. But now you could start cue bidding. So four clubs isn't going to get passed out. If you bid two diamonds, two hearts, two spades, you've got to have at least a strong invitation to three no trumps. South has shown a maximum or a better than minimum hand. And may well have five card clubs. They've certainly got four card clubs. So whether, whether they've got diamonds or not, best to agree the clubs specifically with four clubs and let it see, let's see where it goes from there. Because now you're potentially going for slam here. So that's a cue bid. Can't be a suit because they bid three no trumps over three diamonds. So that's definitely a cue for clubs. So now, now you could bid. Mm, yes, okay. Pooh. Close, but no cigar. I'll tell you what, I would be bidding five diamonds over four hearts. Yeah. The thing is, if you, if you bid four spades, it does imply a diamond control because South missed out diamonds. So they haven't got a diamond control. In fact, North knows that South can't possibly have a diamond control. So it's actually more helpful to bid five diamonds over four hearts. Because that's committing us to slam anyway. So the chances are that North does actually have the King of Spades if they bid five diamonds. Well, no, I don't, I don't think it does. Because, no, I, I don't think it does, Sanya. Because um, 
North must realise that diamonds is going to be the major worry for South because they can't possibly have a diamond control. They've opened one no Trump. But North's got the ace, king, queen of diamonds. So, uh, actually it's more helpful to bid five diamonds over four hearts than it is to bid four spades. Four spades does imply a diamond control. Right. So four hearts denies a diamond control. And obviously North can see why. And four spades does imply a diamond control because otherwise you just sign off in five clubs over four hearts. You wouldn't bother cubiting spades. But for North must realise that for South, the quality of North's diamond controls is a major worry. Inevitably a major worry. So specifically showing the Ace of Diamonds is actually more helpful, especially because five diamonds is effectively a Grand Slam force because you're committed to six clubs regardless. That's the other value of the five diamond bid. Because you're committing the partnership to six clubs, whatever happens, you're effectively looking for seven. That's why you're effectively promising the King of Spades. And so, five diamonds is effectively a Grand Slam force in clubs. So over five diamonds, South should be bidding uh, seven clubs, not six clubs. And that's the way to get to the Grand Slam. One of these days, masterclass on Q bidding. Okay, last one, guys, then I'm going to call it a night, because it's uh, nearly quarter past twelve. But well done. I, I mean, pretty much got there. Yeah, that's absolutely right, John. I, I mean, five diamonds pretty much has to have a spade control. Because we're committed to six clubs regardless. And therefore, five diamonds is looking for seven clubs, not six clubs. That's why six clubs over four spades was good. Because... Uh, there's no point Barry bidding anything else over four spades apart from six clubs. The only thing that would potentially get you to seven here is if North bids five diamonds. Okay, last one. Um, let me just find a nice hand. Oh, yes, this is a good one. <laughs> Before you say anything, Sanya, yes, effectively you do, but not in those circumstances, Ellie. If you're making what's effectively a Grand Slam force, you're saying, listen, I've got no worries here. I'm looking for seven. You're not looking for six, you're looking for seven. Because whatever over five diamonds, whatever happens, you're going to end up playing in six clubs. Mm, doesn't always follow, Joe. Sorry. You can't always do it that way. It's more... Yeah, of course we do. Five diamonds is a Grand Slam force in that sequence I outlined. If you, if you continue Q-bidding when you're already committed to, to a small slam, because you can't possibly stop below small slam, then by definition, almost, it's a Grand Slam force. It doesn't have to be five no trumps, no. 
a jump to five no trumps is usually a grand slam force. But if North bids five diamonds, if North bids five diamonds over four hearts in that previous sequence, that is clearly a grand slam force for clubs. Yes, indeed, Sanya. <laughs> I'm thinking of emigrating. Burning my, burning my computer. Well, like I said, I'll, uh, I will do it one of these days. It's always, Roger, it's always called a Grand Slam Force. It doesn't mean you have to play in a Grand Slam. It, it's, it is asking about South's Trump solidity. If they've got... You mean bidding offensively? By definition, all of this is offensive bidding, Ellie, uh, Sanya rather. The whole course so far has been on offensive bidding, as opposed to defensive when ops have opened. Not sure what you're getting at there, Roger. Right, that's defensive bidding, Sanya. Not offensive. Yeah, I do I do have a lesson on offense on defensive bidding later in the course. In fact I hold several several sessions. Ah, right, that kind of trump. Any amount of trump is too much. <laughs> and he's offensive too. Yes, he agrees. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't think he's a bridge player. Uh, look out for World War Three if he gets uh, in as president, I'm afraid. Oh, Ellie. Two spades says bid two no trumps if you're an absolute rock bottom minimum and bid something else if you're better than minimum. No, you can keep Clinton as well, Phil, I'm afraid. Um, I'm not sure I'd want either of them in Europe. But I would be very apprehensive if he ends up as president in, in the US. I think you'd be looking at World War Three within about five minutes of him taking office. <laughs> Your bid here, Ellie, is three no trumps, which shows exactly three 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 four distribution with a four card minor, but better than minimum. Okay.
Is that a question to me, John? And yes, John, I'm afraid I, I thought Thatcher was a tremendous Prime Minister. I'm not saying she never made mistakes, but she was one of the great Prime Ministers of the last 50 years in this country. No, I agree. Like I said, uh, I'm, I'm, this isn't a masterclass on politics, especially US, US politics. Um, very nice sequence, guys. Well done. Lead and claim 11, please. And please note that uh, three no trumps is absolutely dead in the water here. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Just got to tell it. As I see it, I'm afraid. Right, guys. I think we'll call it tonight, though. Okay, I have to say, guys, if you're listening, whether you currently play Levin Sol or not, and especially if you don't, please do come next week. Levin Sol is arguably the best bidding concept of all time and uh, uh, will transform your bidding. So even if you already play it to some extent, do come along because you may well learn some stuff that you weren't aware of. Anyway, thanks all for coming, and we'll see you next week.